These are our stories. This is how we are living my Alaska. The Denali Highway is a stretch of gra mostly gravel road, mostly maintained in summer but not in winter, and widely known and respected as one of the most scenic roads in Alaska. Don't let the term highway fool you. This is mainly barely a two-lane road, which is mostly gravel, through some of the most remote and unsettled parts of Alaska. It generally goes from Cantwell to east to Paxson, Alaska. That's Cantwell is approximately about an hour south of Denali National Park on the park's highway. And it's highly regarded as one of the most favorite among the locals for scenery. I hope you like it. A beautiful sunny day in early summer in Alaska is a wonderful time to visit. Not yet crowded with too many tourists, not yet overrun by mosquitoes. The Denali Highway was mostly ours. Uh, the camper van, the sprinter van that we ride in and use for these travels was quite comfortable. A little bit rough on the gravel road. Four-wheel drive and larger tires makes for a much more enjoyable experience. Mountain ranges, wild and untouched as far as you can see. The Denali Highway, as you can see, is not much of a highway. It's dirt, somewhat gravel, surrounded by untouched forests, and much of it unpass impassable. The van managed the Denali Highway quite well. It was a wonderful experience. Um, our good friend Bob and Jess in his rock crawler Jeep with his trailer with his rooftop tent worked out quite well. Endless rivers, endless mountain views, untouched wild scenery as far as you can see from the rivers to the green forest to the white snow-capped mountain peaks. It makes for a fantastic backdrop and an epic scenery. These rivers are known to hold sometimes salmon, sometimes grayling, sometimes arctic, arctic char, um, sometimes trout. Quite easy, easily to access and uh, accessible and good for fishing. The snow has not yet left many areas. It's hard to imagine this landscape here in six months will be six feet under snowfall and the roads are unkept, so it's impassable by car, mostly in winter. The Denali Highway offers many um, pull-offs, parking areas, where you can park and enjoy the scenery with friends, especially on a beautiful day like today where the weather was as good as it has been all season. That's our buddy Bob. He really enjoyed fishing there. He was successful at picking up several grayling out of that creek. As you make your way east from Cantwell to Paxson, when you get closer to the Paxson Inn, the pull-offs become uh, better managed. The parking areas become larger, and as you can see, we now are on pavement once more but the mountain views become more and more remarkable as we go. This is a great view of the Denali Highway on the other end near the Paxson end where it's much better maintained. Um, nicely maintained two lane road, fresh road surfaces, smooth, not too many potholes, just barely escaping the snow that's creeping up on each end much more easy going in the van and this kind of a highway and as one can see there's not much traffic this time of year this is late May early June and it made for a wonderful driving experience and we had this area all to ourselves
The Paxson side of the, Den the Denali Highway offers some wonderful camping, wonderful campgrounds like this one, where this lake is almost free of ice now and um, known and respected for good fishing. That's Paxson, 135 miles. That's from the Cantwell side. At the Cantwell sign, it, the Denali Highway is roughly 135 miles across to the Paxson side. Thank you so much for watching. Many more videos like this to come if you want to visit Alaska or if you're in Alaska and are curious about some of the more wonderful places, this is a great place to watch these videos. Living My Alaska is how we share our experiences and what we've done that brings joy to our lives and health to our well-being. So if you like this video, check out the channel. There'll be many more just like it at Living My Alaska. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through the last frontier. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.